Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And let's this let's crack into another We're cracking pod, in, podcast. Dude. So oh, <laughs> TNT. God. Yeah. Uh we went and saw a movie. We did go and see a movie, Joni. And I it was funny because uh you came out to the Crazy Town Mansion uh main foyer. Yeah. And I was like, hey, Megan's about to play. And I literally thought about going, watched the trailer, and decided I'd oh, never want to see wait, this wait, movie. Wait, 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 let's hit the people with some real... Let's start at the beginning and then of the story. what did you say? Let's start at the beginning of the story. That was the beginning. No, that's not the beginning Okay, of the what's the beginning? The beginning of the story happened like four days ago when you were like, Megan's in theaters. And I was like, all right, it looks kind of stupid. And honestly... I, I think I'm going to hate it, but I'll go and see oh, it. Oh, yeah, and you said, but the reviews, though. Yeah, well, that was before I had even looked oh, up the reviews. You, okay. that, this is, see, we're going way back. This is like Monday. Today is Sunday. We're talking well, anyways, about Saturday. neither of us thought we wanted to see it. You asked me to go see it. I was like, or you I, said you wanted to I was going to say, I did. <laughs> you said you might want to go see it. I said, okay. And then I looked up reviews. The thing got rave reviews, decent reviews. And then came the day where we were in the foyer, and you were like, it's showing... And then what did you say? I said, I don't think I want to ever go see it. <laughs> and I was like, but the I just rewatched the trailer. I don't want to <laughs> see this movie. And, and honestly, I don't blame you. I honestly don't blame you. <laughs> and because that's the first initial reaction I had to seeing the trailer. So we're, so we're sitting in the movie. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we we're we both the didn't want to go. We, we were so defiant that we didn't even buy the popcorn that we normally buy. We're just like, I just, let's just get the ticket. So if we got to leave, I ain't leaving with a big ass bag of popcorn on top of it. I haven't left a movie since I was 12 and saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 in the theater. And I plan wow. on never doing that again unless no. I get a movie pass yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where I will go see anything and give it a 30 minute trial and then walk out oh. if it sucks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I don't, I don't blame you for being skeptic, but I was like, with, like I said, with the reviews it was getting, I was like, it can't yeah. be bad. And let me tell you, I was not, I did not regret going to watch it, uh -huh. but I will never watch it again. I mean, if somebody's okay. watching, I'll, I'll watch it okay. with them. But like, I'm, I would. I was talking like, "Ew, I'm leaving because you're putting that movie on." And and I honestly, I don't want to come across as that guy that's um, the uh, vanguard of the Meganessance. But does, what does that even mean? I'm, Holy Jesus! I'm, I'm, vanguard I'm, of the Meganessance. <laughs> the Maga the Meganessance. I'm not being. I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm not gonna be the vanguard. But I will say is that I thought it was a very good movie. Um, it was not great it was not amazing it didn't break the mold but it was entertaining that is the big point i will okay it was inter so you have those, to admit for, it was for entertaining. those of you who have no idea what we're talking about the the very general synopsis and the very first thing i'm gonna say is not a spoiler it's like a, 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 a girl goes to live with her 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 aunt and her aunt is a toy developer and she has developed this ai that's a little girl that is like dynamic and can just learn and it it grows with the person it, it's paired with meant to be like the best toy ever companion kind of i won't even say that because that might be a spoiler uh yeah and that that's the general gist of it and, and then of course like any ai movie things happen that aren't expected it, it basically just turns into child's play 2023 right, right that's exactly. really what it is because it's the same premise of child's play oh you got a new toy oh i love my chucky doll yeah and then next thing you know like dun, 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 yeah. dun. so uh so what i'll say is you have what to admit I, it was entertaining. My, oh, absolutely. It was entertaining. Okay. I laughed out loud in the theater. Yeah. And uh, that does not happen very often. For me especially. Yeah. Uh, I loved how, like, okay. <laughs> I love how uh -huh. they just, they just, I can't think of the word. They just went in. Yeah. On trying to keep it a serious movie, even though it was ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. it was like, I mean, they just went hard on like, yeah. no, this is normal. <laughs> like yeah, okay. and like the, yeah. just when you go just just wait till you meet this lady's boss uh, yeah. this man is the worst actor Dude. in the entire planet. i'm not gonna lie 
I love that character. He's yeah. been in a bunch of other stuff too. What's his I, name? I can't, I can't remember. What, I, I, he, I, he looks familiar, but I don't remember what he was in. I think he is. That's not like I'm going to sound like a. a don't do racist. it. Don't. Don't I'm do say it. it. No. Don't, I'm gonna, don't, I'm gonna I mean, say I mean, you're more able to say it than me. Say, but like, don't do it. it. Isn't he Kim Jong Il? No, I'm kidding. Isn't he? Isn't he the guy from Harold and Kumar? No, a thousand percent no. How am I able to see that? And you're not. I don't know. I guess I don't see color, friend. No, but he has been in a bunch. It's a, it's a. Um, I don't think he is. He's an Asian dude. He's been in a bunch of stuff. I don't think he has. I think he really has. You can look up his name if you. I don't have my I'm phone. I'm gonna look it up right now. I don't have my phone yeah, right you, now. You but uh, bit, uh, I loved his character honestly because, like, even though he was like over the top and ridiculous, like boss, oh, like he was so bad. His, <laughs> he was just. I thought he. I enjoyed him because he was over the top, but it wasn't so over the top where it was like uh, Wakiti, like uh, Watiti. That guy. If you ever seen uh, Thor: Love and Thunder, uh, Taika Waititi plays a boss, and he's way over the top to the point where it's like, I hate you. This guy's over the top, but it's like, okay, I get it. It's funny. Either way, the movie does not take itself seriously in in a uh, lot of different parts. It doesn't reinvent the wheel on the on this genre of movie. Like a lot of things, you knew exactly what was going to happen before it happened, but it maintained engagement. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I, uh, you are. I don't. He's not who you think he is. Probably. No. He's been in such great movies that we've seen, such as Crazy Rich Asians. Nope. Ain't okay. seen that. I know that movie. But Aquafina's in Here's that. what you know him from. I'm sure. Shang Chi and the Legend of whatever. Yes. And he's a Marvel he, guy. He was in uh, Godzilla vs Kong too. I never seen that. Yeah, movie. I see that either. So yeah, so he's been in stuff, he is but he's not, not Harold from Harold and Kumar or okay, whatever. Well, I apologize to him. What's his name? Oh, shit. Give him a give him a credit, Ronnie Chang. There you go, Ronnie Chang. So, anyways, uh, we ain't got time left, so let's go ahead and put. If you have not seen this movie and want to, we're gonna talk specifics and spoil shit now. So turn this off. Yep, this is your warning. Spoilers are coming. All right, three, two, spoilers. One, turn it off now. <laughs> so, what 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 do you want to talk about? When this bitch babe? turned into Johnny Mnemonic. <laughs> and just started like flipping around in the hallway, ripping paper shredder, f paper chopper oh, things. Going right up. to the end of the movie. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> like like just just like when she like grabs the fucking like I ha I remember those paper things from school, and yeah. she just like shing, and she just like flips around and shit. Does yeah, I was like does a little TikTok dance for no reason. <laughs> Apropos of nothing at all, just bust into the TikTok dance that gave me an uneasy feeling. Oh, it was weird. I did not like that. It just was like, and then like the, the ah, dude, anyway, go ahead. What do you got? I don't, I just want to comment on the fact of like uh, how it, it, it kept all the same tropes of any other like inanimate object serial killer type of movie or like, you know, like Ghoulies and Child's Play and... Oh, it did have that classic 80s feel. Yeah, it did. It, where it like, it starts out with the toy is like, oh, you hurt my little girl. I'm going to kill your dog. Dog dies. I don't know what happened, lady. Then cops come and knock on the door. Yeah, there's a dead dog next door. I don't know anything about it. Okay, well, just calm down, neighbor. And then it went on to the next thing. It's like, oh, there's a bully. Or what was it? The bully or the neighbor? Then it was like, the neighbor. I know you killed my dog. Neighbor's dead. I'm like, this is, this is the sense. <laughs> it's slowly, it goes from like, hi, I'm a loving toy to like, I'm just murdering everything. Yeah. Every AI movie ever. Yeah. It just slowly learns how to kill and wants to kill. Yeah. I'm just protecting her. And then even though it's an AI towards the end of the movie, it's just like, fuck it. I'm killing everybody. <laughs> And like everybody they, has and to they die now. Made at least three times. One where she just starts singing these really nice tunes at her. The, the singing. Oh my god. <laughs> it was so stupid yet so good. At the end, she had her like upside down the thing and she's singing to her too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it had it singing show the, tunes. The movie was well done. Even though yes. the acting wasn't the greatest. You know the lead the lead lady was the uh, girlfriend from Get Out. Okay. You know, honestly, I thought that was Deb from Dexter. Oh, I mean, it might be. I've never seen Dexter. But, yeah, that's that's the that's the, uh, that's yeah. the girl from yeah, uh, yeah, Get yeah. Out. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. I had some trouble at the beginning of the movie because uh, I thought the little girl's parents, the mother, looked a lot like the aunt. And I was like, isn't this the same lady? That's why folks all look the same. <laughs> I mean, if it's any consolation, I couldn't tell I, I just, <laughs> Harold and Kumar from fucking, from fucking Shang-Chi. Um, but yeah, I, I got kind of confused at the beginning there. But all in all, man, it was just 
it was just a very, very entertaining movie. If you it, go into it realizing that it is a little... It's going to be trash of a... A trash quality movie as far as, like, depth. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It, I, I want to say campy, but it's not even really campy. It's a... It's a PG-13 horror movie. That's the thing, is that a lot of people in the media right now, a lot of reviews that you're going to see, they're going to be complaining about the fact that they didn't go hard enough with some of the violence or some it's, of the gore, some of the kills. Signs, yeah. And and honestly, I will have to say is that they could have gone harder. I did, There was not enough. <laughs> I feel like there wasn't enough blood. But here's the thing. This is a... They, they marketed this to... it. There's a a woman lead character yeah in fact the, all, the, all chil ladies. the child is a woman yep the, the, the doll is the a girl yep. it's all female based leads yeah and so it's if a, you it's a want, woke movie yeah, if you want <laughs> if you want if you want girls and here's the other thing you're dealing with a girl who's like 12 in the movie yeah and the doll was like 12 in the movie what if you limit that to only grown ass folks going to see it? Pe that that part of that's what turned me off to begin. I was like, I don't want to watch a movie about a girl and her doll, no matter if it's a horror movie or not. That's a good point because a lot of movies, like I always have to refer to the Baba Duke. Like I I love the Baba Duke, but that fucking kid in that movie, he got on oh my goddamn. They're so bad. Oh yeah. In this movie, the little girl did not pissed me off with her with her attitude her acting no no she no. was good she did yeah. good there was the one point where she's screaming in the car and i'm like uh got got I mean, some babadook kind of feelings but that, there but that's but. what kids are so but but anyways i mean I, I, do you have anything else to add i mean we, we we're pretty much where we're at it, it was just um, it was wild man like it was good like i don't i don't exclaim in the theater i try to keep quiet i definitely exclaimed out in the theater because it was just like what the f but yeah. there was also like other people in the theater doing that and normally that drives me crazy so this is my thing is that at the end of the movie <laughs> Movie, I didn't get the feeling from you or from anybody else in the movie that they did not have a good time seeing that movie. And that's what movies are all about. Yeah. Did, so, did you did you feel like you were entertained? I was entertained. I was a hundred. I was laughing my ass off. But would I see it a bunch of times? No. No. It's, yeah. Well, I mean, there's not too many movies that I would see. Anymore. Yeah. Anymore. I don't watch but... enough. So, anyways, go to thecrazycount.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh, uh, we out. Bop 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 bop